Hey guys, um, so one of the problems that I've found, particularly as a science teacher with their native iPad keyboards, which is the one in, as, in Pages, is that it doesn't allow for you to uh, insert superscript or subscript text, which is quite frustrating, particularly when we're using chemical formulas. Uh, but I've been recently shown this app here called Symbol in the top left hand corner that uh, allows us to overcome that problem. So I'm going to open up Symbol and show you um, what the screen looks like here. Let me just reposition this. Now, you've got the basic um, screen for the interface here and you can see down the bottom that there's a, a normal iPad uh, keyboard down there and up the top we've got our text entry area but in between the two we've got um, the symbol now this is actually the symbol app it's not pages but it looks kind of the same except it's got the symbol keyboard in here and this line here is the one that's really useful for for me or these two lines sorry these are the ones that contain the super and subscript characters um, but there's also some others over here that could be useful for maths and, and many science teachers as well but there's uh, an italic X there if I press on that I'll show you what it looks like there we go um, and then you've got some other symbols down here that are quite useful as well and um, could be used in either maths or science now and, and they're not found on the iPad keyboard um, so basically if I enter a couple of these superscript text here so say for example I wanted to write um, centimeters squared all right I've got uh, it comes up looking like that basically so I just use the normal keyboard to type on the C and the M and then I use the little symbol for the superscript 2 up here um, another one that we use quite often in science is glucose the symbol for glucose so if I was to uh, use the normal keyboard keyboard down the bottom to type in the the C the uppercase C and then I use the subscript 6 from the subscript line of symbols here C6 and then the normal character for H and two lowercase numbers for 1 and 2 for the H12 and then uppercase O and a, and a subscript 6 I've now got my glucose formula so these numbers allow you, to, allow you to produce the subscript and superscript numbers that you need the one problem though is that the symbol app this area in the up here where you enter the text is not really that useful when we're, in, when we're entering large amounts of text so it's pretty good at the moment just for typing in some symbols but if you for example had your students writing scientific reports extended ones they may not find that limited space very useful so the good thing is that you can copy and paste these symbols into any other uh, app that will take text so you could um, you could paste these into a pages document you can paste them into explain everything or, or um, numbers or even safari into an email anything like that and the formatting remains the same so I'll show, show you for example if I hold my finger down on um, the C6H1206 and touch select and then copy that I can go into a pages document down here and if I hold my finger down again there and paste my formatted formula comes in which is awesome um, but to flick back and forward between the symbol app and your pages app where you're actually creating your your document to do that over and over again can be uh, quite frustrating and could consume quite a bit of time so one solution to that problem is to create text shortcuts and you can do that through the settings menu and basically what that allows is it means that whenever you type in a, um, a set defined set of characters text characters that you create um, this or whatever formula you want whatever symbol you want will automatically be inserted in there so if I go into, I'll go into settings and show you what I mean by this so I'll open up settings and just under general I'll scroll normally uh, yeah I'll scroll down to oh sorry open open my general and then um, open my keyboard tab here and you can see down the bottom I've got one shortcut created already it's called SUP2 and whenever I type in the letters SUP with a 2 it gives me the option to insert a superscript 2 so I'm going to create one of these shortcuts now for uh, for glucose because it's something that I use quite a lot so I'm going to touch on add new shortcut down the bottom and here the phrase that I want to come up is just the one that I created in uh, in symbol so if I just hold my finger down because I still selected it from before and touch on paste it inserts that phrase there 
Now if I come into the shortcut section and enter my phrase, so uh, something that's going to be easy to remember, GGG -G -G, I think, because I don't really have to ever type GGG -G -G or GGGG -G -G in, um, in a normal kind of text document, so if I was doing that then I was probably doing something wrong. So that's uh, obvious to me that that's going to be the formula for glucose, so I've typed that in and now I'll just press save like in the top right hand corner and now that's created a shortcut so whenever I'm in a uh, any place on my iPad um, so for example I'll go back into pages whenever I'm in here or any other um, place where I'm going to type text if I do enter the letters G G G G it gives me the suggestion that comes up automatically to enter my shortcut text that I just prepared and if I press space it gets entered there um, the other one that I had was a a superscript 2 um, and my my um, code for that was SUP2 and press on uh, space there we go and just to show you that it is superscript um, that little 2 came up on its own so you could create a whole set of these shortcuts for all the different symbols and um, and particularly the formulas that you're going to use very often uh, and that way it can save a bit of time from going back and forward between pages and the symbol app so that's a, a solution to overcome the problem of the um, subscript and superscript being absent from the native iPad keyboard. If you've got any questions, let me know.